Hi, do you know what it is to study Russian language and literature in IB program? It is really interesting thing to do because we're not only studying language, we're also getting global knowledge. We're reading a lot of books because our way of studying language is through literature. We're meeting a lot of we're writers, not only Russian as you may think, but foreign also. We're meeting a lot of genres and discussing different topics, debating about global issues. And it is really engaging and you can get a lot of knowledge on this program. So let's talk about how our studying process goes. So when we uh, start to read a book, we first of all divide it into several parts. S um, as we did with 1984. Um, we divided it into three parts and sometimes we have free uh, lessons just to read these parts. So we come to the lesson and we have already read these parts and we are ready to discuss them. There are several options. So the first one is so the teacher gives us uh, the main idea and we discuss that and we argue about that. Or we may express our own uh, like ideas that came to our minds uh, while reading um, like the parts of the book some things we wanted to add, some things we wanted to clarify and all that and we just... there is a conversation between uh, like all the classmates about the book and about the ideas that are expressed there and after that uh, we may write an essay uh, the topic of the essay may be uh, directly dedicated to the idea of the book however it may be uh, a global problem that only somehow touches the idea of the book or uh, it may be something that touches the book not in terms of problem but like uh, the way that the book was written like uh, in terms of what uh, affected what is in the book for example when we read 1984 the topic of the essay was how would the plot of the book be changed if it had been written in the different century uh, at the different place and that was pretty interesting to analyze and think about that after writing the essay we have um, a preparation lesson for debates and the debates uh, themselves so basically the teacher divides us into two groups and we um, like the one group is um, supports the idea that uh, was given by the teacher and the other one is uh, has the opposite opinion and we have to come up with some arguments come up with some ideas and on the lesson of the debates we just argue with each other uh, and try to stay polite but at the same time we try to prove um, our point of view what is so special about the Russian A which I wanted to highlight is that there is nearly no incorrect opinion well, basically, if the idea is completely opposite to the one that was expressed in the book, um, this uh, idea may be considered as incorrect. However, the uh, Russian A program is mostly about being able to prove your point. So it is about looking at a global problem from different perspectives, um, creating your own opinion based on these perspectives, based on um, the way you... Uh, think about these points of view and creating a balanced opinion and being able to prove that. So uh, the Russian A program is about being able to stay polite, of course, at the same time uh, with uh, proving your point, with giving some arguments, with um, giving the credits to some researches and to some uh, ideas that were expressed by um, influential people and so on. It is about being able to argue and create a final opinion that is uh, like that is balanced and that consists from different ideas and finally at the end you'll get a lot of benefits because now you're not only able to speak or write or read in russian language but you are also globally engaged you have read a lot of literature and books you have met a lot of writers and genres discuss different topics and have a debate on whatever it is and you can use it in your daily life. You can keep up with the topic, speak with different people, speak with people who are interested in li literature. And this will be a really useful thing to know in your life. So come here and learn Russian language and literature. Bye.